Sexomnia, a fascinating yet perplexing sleep disorder, involves engaging in sexual activities during sleep, unaware and often involuntary. While its precise etiology remains elusive, factors such as concurrent sleep disorders and external influences like stress or alcohol consumption are suspected culprits. A comprehensive sleep study serves as a pivotal tool for diagnosis, unraveling the mysteries of sexomnia or uncovering potential coexisting conditions. Treatment strategies tailored to address underlying triggers typically encompass medication, enhancements in sleep hygiene practices, and mitigation of stressors in the delicate realm of sleep disorders. The diagnostic journey often involves a meticulous sleep study, a diagnostic tool adept at unraveling the complexities of sexomnia or unearthing potential comorbidities. This investigative process aims not only to identify the presence of sexomnia, but also to discern any underlying medical conditions or sleep disturbances contributing to its manifestation. Treatment approaches for sexomnia are multifaceted, tailored to address the specific needs and circumstances of each individual. Pharmacological interventions may play a role in managing symptoms, while concurrently emphasizing the cultivation of optimal sleep hygiene practices. Additionally, efforts to mitigate stressors and minimize triggers form integral components of the therapeutic landscape, fostering a holistic approach to managing this intricate sleep disorder. In the pursuit of alleviating the burdens imposed by sexonia, a comprehensive understanding of its complexities and a personalized treatment approach are indispensable. By navigating the intricacies of this disorder with diligence and compassion, individuals affected by sexomnia can strive towards reclaiming restful and rejuvenating nights. Sexomnia can cause people to do sexual things while they're asleep. These things might include touching themselves, making sexual noises, or even trying to have sex with someone else. Sometimes it can be aggressive or even assaultive, but the person doing it doesn't realize what they're doing. Sexomnia can happen along with other sleep problems like sleepwalking or talking. In your sleep, it seems to affect men more often than women. And for women, touching themselves is the most common behavior. Besides the sexual stuff, signs that someone might be having sexomnia include not responding much when you talk to them, acting strangely during sex, being hard to wake up and not remembering anything about what they did when they wake up. Sometimes there might be injuries, especially around the private parts. Wet dreams, where guys ejaculate while they sleep, are normal, unlike sexomnia. But sometimes, people with sexomnia might think what they did was just a wet dream if nobody saw them doing it. Sexomnia doesn't always have a clear medical reason behind it. Sometimes, it seems to happen because of things in a person's environment or lifestyle. These triggers can also set off sexomnia in people who already have another sleep problem. Some of the usual triggers include stress, feeling anxious or depressed, drinking alcohol or using drugs, and not getting enough sleep. But what sets off sexomnia can differ from person to person.